Matthew eleven two, Hode Ioannes, Acusas into desmoterio ta erga tu Christu, Pimsas diaton matheton autu. And then this continues in the next verse. I put the first two words of verse 3. Apen auto said to him, right? Because really the, the whole uh, basic sentence is John, ha Ioannes, said to him. And then we have these things in between. So now, we might say, now John, and this is from the context, could be John the Baptist, when he heard, and so we're reading this participle here as a temporal participle, right? There's no article in front of it, so we're expecting it to be adverbial. And you can see the sas, it's just an aorist active participle, and it's nominative masculine singular describing John here. John, when he heard in prison, right? So John is in prison. That's the location of him. What did he hear about? When he heard the works or the deeds of Christ, that is the Messiah's works or deeds, um, and then we have this another participle, same form, uh, aorist active participle, nominative masculine singular, this time from the verb pimpo. But it seems like it should be read as a participle of attendant circumstance, translated along with the, the following verb. So we'll just translate it like another verb that's happening, like an indicative verb. So he sent through his disciples, right, sent an inquiry through his disciples. And usually with the participles of attendant circumstance, you may have to add in the word and or something like that. And said to him, right, this is coming from verse 3, it's not in verse 2. And said to him, that is said to Jesus or question Jesus through the message that he sent to him through his disciples. Let's say one final thing. So this pimpsos, this participle right there, how does the spelling change like that? What, where did this letter go? Well, remember, the regular aorist active participle ending is sas, right, plus sas. So then that pi and that sigma, they combine and they become ps right there. So that's an aorist active participle, as we noted, nominative masculine singular, of pimpo, and we're translating it like a participle of attendant circumstance, translating it along with this indicative verb that's very soon to follow in verse 3. He sent, that is John the Baptist, sent through his disciples and said to him, that is said to Jesus, dot, dot, dot. We'll have to pick it up in the next verse.